I'm trying boba for the first time today, and I'm here, of course, with the wonderful Bella Faye and also Fallon. Hi. Uh, wait, can you introduce how we know each other? Um, yeah, so <laughs> basically we all met at Caleb Simpson's party. Um, I was standing in a corner and I came alone and I didn't know anybody <laughs> and they were both nice enough to approach me and we got talking and here we are now, so. Can yeah. in the park? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How was your boba? It was delicious. I had this strawberry milk one um, with whole milk, not oat milk, unfortunately. I did consider that one. Um, <laughs> it was very good, very sweet. Perfect amount of sugar that I needed. I'm home for about five minutes now just to get all of this haircutting stuff all packed up and ready to go because I'm going to do a bunch of haircuts tonight. I have two clients all lined up ready to go and possibly a third or fourth. So I'll see how much I have time for but I like cutting hair and that's what I used to do for a job. So I'm always the go-to hair cutter barber person. That's me. It is kind of weird being the one on camera, but it's cool. You got it. Um, my hair clippers are all plugged into charge. They were very dead. So now I have those plugged into charge. And <laughs> I think now we're gonna go film a TikTok, right? It has officially been just over a year of our friendship. So the day we first met, I heard the rats. <laughs> <laughs> but the day we first met, we filmed the TikTok with the rats. And we're gonna try to recreate it. And that's this neighbor. right here. Hi. <laughs> Completely different people. Nope. Oh, the, cat. The, the cat, not the cat. <laughs> this is the setup so the cat doesn't come out and eat the rats, but it doesn't quite work all the time. Okay, so I'm gonna... Which arm do I move with? Either. Okay, cool. I'm gonna do that. Okay. And then go to Bibble. I met a neighbor. Hi! <laughs> she has rats. It's so good. <laughs> it's perfect. It's so good. It's been about a year and a half since I've fully set up shop like this to do a bunch of haircuts and one thing I can tell you about it for sure is that I miss it. I was never too good at the talking to people and talking with clients and all that kind of aspect of it, but I love the art aspect of it. In a way, in my opinion, when you do a haircut, it's like you're doing a sculpture or a painting or something like that. Every hairdresser and barber has their own style and it makes them unique and people go to them for that reason, just like an artist. I'm a firm believer in the saying, when you look good, you feel good, and everybody knows when you get a fresh haircut, you feel the best, so it's really, really incredible that I can give that feeling to people and make them feel good about themselves. In a way, cutting hair is sort of an escape for me, just like skating or biking or anything like that is as well. It really lets me just put my mind towards that and focus on the one thing and the one goal, and I feel like that's very valuable. A lot of the times our minds are so wrapped up in a million things at once and it's hard to just focus on one thing. So things like this really make you focus on the one thing and that's one of the aspects I love about it.
on the train ride home, I was thinking a lot. And I was like, well, you know, that really was a great day. It really, really was. I wasn't home a lot, but, you know, that's okay. I'm usually home a lot, so it was nice to be out and about all day. And, yeah, <laughs> that's about it.